Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is going to be a short video on changing via size after placement. So as you're going through and you're starting to route your traces, and you say, oh, wait a second, I wanted those vias to be much bigger. So let's take a look at this. Let's open up KiCad and go into the layout. This is our example project, just nice and blank. So first off, we're going to draw a, uh, you can see our track width is 10 mils. Our via size is 35 mils. Let's actually change this using the design rules and uh, add, some, add in some more here. So we're going to do a smaller one. We're going to say 0 0.02 mil, 0.013 drill. And then we're going to say for track width, we're going to make a smaller one. We're going to say 0 0.006. Okay, and then we have our standard 10 and 35. I don't really like using the 35 because it's actually not defined with the drill and the outside diameter. Actually, because of that, let's go a little bit bigger. So let's actually define this as 0.035, and then the drill will do 0.02. There we go. All right, so now we have a 10 mil width, we have a 6 mil width, and then we have two different vias. Three different vias we can use, but only two we actually will use. Uh-oh. <laughs> Aha, yes. So we have to change the minimum. I forgot about those. So we need to, uh, what is this again? So we need to do, this one's easy. So we can just say this is 0.05. Minimum via di diameter, we could say 0.015. Drill diameter, 010, even though we won't go that small. And then we also have to do these because the, the micro via has to be smaller than the via. So 0.010, and then via drill, 0.005 should be okay. Let's see if that works. Aha, yes. Okay, so now we have these other options here. We have another trace option here, we, as we've gone over in previous videos. So let's actually route a trace. So just standard trace, we hit, uh, and actually, let me try this again. So standard trace, let's uh, hit X, start the trace, and then V to go down to, or go up to the top layer copper. There we go, and we'll just double click to end it. Okay, so, oh, that was the wrong size. <laughs> Should actually pick the one we want there. So if we redraw this, let's just redraw it to start where we want to start, even though we will be changing vias. Delete block. All right, so let's start drawing. V, and then double click to end. All right, so now we see we actually have a drill defined as well. Okay, so great. Uh, now we want to actually modify the via. So what we want to do first is, uh, <coughs> so get out of the, the draw tool there, and escape to get out of there. And we mouse over the via. Oops, sorry. Mouse over the via, hit E or go to the context menu, select the net or the via that we want. Oh, sorry. I had that backwards, sorry. We just right click on the via. <laughs> so we right click on the via. One more time here. Right click on the via. We select the track width, and then this gives us a menu to actually change the drill size. Let's do that. Okay, so we changed the drill size. However, it didn't change. So what we wanna do instead is then we have to say uh, change size here. And there we go. It did change size. So we could also could have hit E. That would have changed the size there. That's kind of a weird menu. So we can also see it also changed the via selection up here. So any new vias we draw, so we start drawing here. Lots and lots of vias. Lots of traces. Okay. Now hit escape, we right click again, select the via, select track width, and then we change it to the larger size. Now as we mouse over, hit E, and we change that, that, change that via, change that via, change that via, that via. <laughs> and basically we can just go through the whole uh, layout, because this could be you know a layout wide thing. Uh, with with the example being, say you you do an entire setup with uh, you know this 20 mil wide and then 13 mil drill, and then you find a fab house that can't actually do a 13 mil drill, you have to do a 15 mil drill or something like that. Well, you'd have to go in and actually change all of your your uh, stuff. Now, what if we want to uh, do this all at once? So we don't want to go through and click all of these at once. What we can do instead is we can right click on the via pull up the context menu, and then go to Global Tracks and Vias. 
And what we can do here is actually set our via size and uh, diameter. So we want to basically set it to the net size, or the net class rather, and then we'll be able to select that for all of them. So if we change the via diameter and the net class value, oh, sorry, we have to do that in the menu, my bad. So we have to go in here, design rules, net class, change the, the dr via drill. So we change this to 0 0.015, this one 0.25, okay. Go back in here, global. We see that it did change. And now we can say set all vias, no track to their net class value. And there we go. Now they're smaller. All right. Uh, so that's how we kind of can change vias all at once. Now remember, if you have different via sizes in your design, uh, they're all going to change there. So um, that's kind of a big discussion on net class value. Uh, we'll talk about that in future videos. That's all for now. Changing via sizes, and thanks for watching.